so the Griffin uh, study for just just by way of introduction it was the largest uh, randomized controlled trial event driven in the area of pulmonary arterial hypertension there were 1156 patients in the trial uh, and it was published in the New England Journal back in uh, 2015 I think it was um, we're still looking at the data you, you such a huge data set we've been looking at the data and diving into it and seeing what messages there are in there beyond the the, 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 the uh, first paper that came out and so at the at the meeting here in, at the American Thoracic Society we presented some new data and that new data was to look at the patients who had the disease for a short period of time less than six months and those who had the disease for longer uh, time longer than six months and just had a look at those and see what effect the drug had uh, on the primary endpoint uh, in those two groups and so we presented that today in showing that in fact the drug works and in both groups but in fact there's a more pronounced effect in patients who were treated earlier and earlier in their disease and i think i just echo that i think that this sort of for your audience i mean i know a lot about this disease i mean this is a very life-threatening disease, pulmonary arterial hypertension, often strikes younger people. Without treatment, it's, you know, survival is two to three years on average. We now have many, many effective treatments. Um, the, the drug Uptravi, which um, was what the Griffin trial looked at, worked through a pathway called the prostacycline pathway. And the way we treat this disease now is through treating a few different targets. And so I think that, you know, this latest study really sort of adds to what we already, you know, feel we need to do with these patients is treating them early and treating them aggressively. And it's nice to see that this study kind of, I think, underlined that point. 